when a force acts on an object that moves through a distance parallel to the force, then we say that work is done. Now, this is just physics speak for energy transferred by a force. We say that the force is doing work. And the equation for work done is the force multiplied by the distance that it's moving. So W equals F times D. And that work done is equal to the energy transferred. by the force. So let's just go through the quantities. W is the work done and the units because work done is energy transferred the units of work done are joules capital J. F is the force and the units of force are always newtons and D is the distance. And the units for distance are in meters, the standard unit. Now that distance has to be parallel to the force for there to be any work done or any energy transferred. It's no use if the, um, if the movement is at right angles to the force. So this chap here is pushing this sign along with a force that way. But if the sign is moving that way upwards on rollers or something then the the guy here is not doing any work he's not transferring any energy from his muscles chemical energy to kinetic or any other type of energy so the force and the distance have to be in the same line the same line of action okay now work done happens in many many situations in this situation here we have skydivers and what is doing the work? Well, what are the forces on the skydivers? So there's a, a weight force downwards. So be careful, by the way. Work done, W, is also the same symbol as, uh, uh, as weight, uh, W. So uh, they are different things. So I'm just going to label that weight, just to be sure. So that's the force due to gravity acting on these skydivers and well the skydivers are moving they're moving downwards at a high velocity so they're moving through a distance and so we have a force which is the weight times by the distance and that is the work done by gravity and that's transferring what type of energy to what type of energy well they're losing height so it's transferring gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy. Don't know if you can just see that. So we say that gravity is doing work. Gravity is transferring gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy of the skydivers. What about a ski lift? Well, a ski lift is uh, lifting weights, lifting people, and so it must be exerting an upwards force. There must be a an upwards force through the frame here and of course if it's lifting something then it's moving it through a distance to go from the lower ski slopes to the upper ski slopes and so the motors that are creating this force upwards uh, are doing work we've got energy being transferred from the perhaps electrical energy in the motors in the pulley system uh, being transferred to gravitational potential energy as they go higher. So we say that the, um, the electrical motors are doing work. What about pushing a car? Well, here we've got a force acting to the right. The people try to push the car. And of course, they are moving, hopefully, the car through a distance. And that distance is parallel to the force. So they are doing work. So what are the energy transfers? Well, chemical energy in their muscles is going to go to kinetic energy of the car. 
that's the energy transfer and so we would say they are doing work with their force finally how about something that's been slowed down here's a fighter jet that's uh, landed and it's deployed its parachute to slow it down faster so there is a, a backwards friction force due to air resistance but the fighter is still moving forwards so hang on how does that work we've got force acting backwards but distance moved is forwards in this case work is being done by friction by the air resistance but it's transferring the kinetic energy of the plane to heat energy that's what friction does friction converts kinetic energy into heat mostly um, and so the fact that they're going in opposite directions doesn't matter they're parallel to each other and so friction that force called friction is still doing work it's still transferring energy from kinetic energy into heat in this case so that's a special case when things are slowing down okay I hope that makes some sense and I'll see you in the next flashcard